Hey guys, I'm coming at you from the floor of my bathroom again because this is my life. I fall down a lot. Um, and anyway, I struggled for a little bit on the floor, but then I just called the non-emergency because I really don't have time for this. Um, that's the problem with falls. It's like, um, wait a second, I have a million things to do today and then... I should be right now plucking my eyebrows, getting some makeup on, and then really I should be right now already at Walgreens. I gotta go get my picture made for the back of my book or the inside cover or whatever it is. But um, I can't do it if I'm sitting on the floor. I can't do it if I'm not in my wheelchair. So anyway, I just decided I'm just gonna call the fire department and then my buff brothers can just pick me up and put me back in the chair because um it's so easy for them it's so hard for me like i sat here and i thought about it like should i try i mean it takes me like usually about an hour or two maybe to get back into my wheelchair i mean sometimes it's faster than that just depends on my spasms, depends on my legs. But right now, like, I mean, I tried to lift my body up and stuff, but it's just not worth it. I'm just going to sit right here and wait um, until the fire department comes because then they can pick me up. Like, I thought about pulling my wheelchair back, but then my legs will probably spasm. This actually might keep me in a good position for the fire department. I don't know. I mean, maybe it would be easier to get back, but if they can just pick me up, like, I mean, they might be able to get their arm, like, right, I don't know, under me and just get, I don't, I don't know how they'll do it. But anyway, if, if I keep the wheelchair here, it keeps me from falling, um, onto the floor and keeps my spasms in check and all that stuff. Need to lower my chair all the way down. But I feel like sometimes, okay, there's this part of me that, that feels really confident and capable and it feels good to help myself out and stuff. But then you also have to realize your limitations if you're in a hurry, if you're like already frustrated, if you, I don't know, if you're just weak, if you just can't do it, then yeah, sometimes you need to get somebody to help you, and that's okay. Um, but, like, it's very frustrating when you're not capable of doing things by yourself. Like, seriously, I should have been able to get in a chair. And I just... And I am not... Not... Don't even think about it. I am not gonna cry. Because um, that would be totally fruitless, pointless, whatever. Um, so now I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait for the fire department. Wait for my buff brothers to come and pick me up in like five seconds. Get me back in the chair. And then, um, yeah, and then, I don't know. What else? And just pick me up and put me back. There, I'll let you see. There. That's where the fire department is going to be. Going through that area right there. But, um, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's just frustrating. It's annoying when you can't do what you want to do. And when every little thing takes, like, freaking hours and hours because something silly like you fall <laughs> you know something i don't know in the good news okay these are the good news things um my book is super close to being printed and stuff but it's still i don't have illustrations yet though i want to use the illustrations on my old book website but i haven't even finished making it yet because i don't have any illustrations but, um, I put 
in the dedication, the author's bio, and the, um, a little bit of, like, back of the book, but I was so, it was so hard to figure that out, and I'm probably going to overanalyze it for the rest of my life, but, um, oh well. Like, it's, it's fun, it's exciting, but it's also kind of, like, did I say everything I want to say? Mm, but I can always write a sequel, <laughs> you know? It's a good thing about writing. Okay, I hear the fire truck behind me. Can you hear it? But I feel like, I don't know if they're gonna, let me try it this way. I'm gonna do it. Switch it around and point at the door that is. Take it from there. You can see what this is. I don't know because I am over here. But it is. But yeah, I'm near the fire department. I hear the truck. So I'm sure we're gonna get them for the truck. Put them on the floor. Now the kids. I guess it's kind of bad to be recording fire department with um, the rear facing camera so we don't actually know they're being recorded. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe it's not even good news and maybe it's just good news out the door. I mean, Come on in. Sorry, Come guys. In. Hey, I am, um, like, I just fell when I was trying to stand off the toilet. Um, okay. But I didn't really move anywhere because I thought, well, maybe it's holding my body in a good position for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So you just need help back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't I think I'm see. hurt. Thank you. Look at that. Woohoo. Yeah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> How have you been? How easy is that? Right? I'm you good. Just yeah. All day. Yeah, man, you guys are really my heroes. Yep. Seriously. Yep. How are you guys? You want his picture? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hopper up all the new guys. All right. <laughs> What's your...